Welcome to One Minute Theatre Reviews. I'm Paul Seven Lewis, this is the Garrick Theatre and I'm here to see Noises Off. Noises Off, one of my favourite uh, plays ever, certainly one of the possibly the best comedy ever written. It's the fifth time I've seen it. So, did this Lyric Hammersmith production at the Garrick do it justice? And the answer is, yes it did. There's got to be more laughs per minute than any other show in London at the moment. It takes you behind the scenes of a farce and the goings on are farcical. The characters are perfectly written and in this production perfectly performed. If you want an evening of absolute continuous laughter, this is the place to go. I gave this production of Noises Off at the Garrick five stars. That's the one minute review. Keep watching for more on Noises Off. Noises Off by Michael Frayne at the Garrick Theatre London. When I saw the first production of Michael Frayne's Noises Off back in 1982, I laughed so much I was fighting for breath. If I didn't laugh quite so uncontrollably when I saw it on this occasion, it's only because it's the fifth time I've seen this masterpiece, so it no longer has that element of surprise. But I still laugh more than at any other play I've seen. If you're lucky enough to watch it for the first time, and if you've never seen it, you really should, I'm sure you'll be as out of control as I was 37 years ago. It's quite possibly the funniest farce ever written. It's about a touring theatre company who are performing an old-fashioned bedroom farce full of the usual misunderstandings, deception and people ending up in a state of undress. We join the actors at the final rehearsal and find that unlike the one-dimensional characters they're playing, these are well-observed, rounded human beings with flaws, emotions and rocky relationships, all destined to undermine the show. In Act 2, we join the production on tour, but this time we're backstage, so we know what's happening, or supposed to be happening, on stage, but we see the realities of what's happening behind the scenes. And it's the most hilarious act because the actors have to be quiet, so they mime all their anger and bewilderment. And there's an incredible moment involving someone trying to take a, an axe to someone else um, and other characters trying to prevent it, all without saying a word. In the final act, we're near the end of the tour and watching from the front as the farce falls apart and ends in, well, farce. Confused and confounded, the actors carry on with heroic, if misguided, uh, determination as they fall out with each other backstage and try to cope on stage with plates of sardines rarely where they should be, contact lenses popping out, doors sticking and boxes disappearing and reappearing. So if you love theatre, you'll love seeing it with its trousers down. And like the best comedy, it shows high ambitions brought down by human frailty. As the director of the show within the show says, it's farce, it's theatre, it's life. The characters are so well written by Michael Frayne, it's tempting to think any decent actors could make a success of them. But it takes exceptional actors like these to make a success of farce. In fact, nothing in theatre can be more difficult than the timing and teamwork and sheer physical hard work required by this genre not to mention the need for truth to character. In this Lyric Hammersmith production, we are blessed with a remarkable company. There's a moment where a bottle of whiskey is passed from one to another all around the set with lightning dexterity. They go in and out of doors with exquisite mistiming. Each character is perfectly drawn, so their reactions when things go wrong are always just right. So praise first to the director, Jeremy Herron. He sets the roller coaster going and it doesn't stop until the final curtain. And I'm going to credit all the actors. Mira Sial, as a veteran actress, Dottie, who can't remember her lines, is wonderfully semi-detached from the reality of what's going on. Daniel Rigby excels as the inarticulate love-struck Gary, his voice getting more and more strained and his movements more frantic as he tries to cope with the unexpected. Lloyd Owen makes an excellent, exasperated, sarcastic director. Lisa McGrillis, more concerned with her nails than her lines, is wonderful. So are Sarah Hadland and Richard Henders as the serenely smiling Belinda and the neurotic method actor Frederick. 
Anjali Mahindra and Adrian Richards as the acting stage management make good innocence unprepared for the th brutishness of theatre life. And finally, there's Simon Rouse, who doesn't put a foot wrong as a deaf alcoholic actor who constantly does put a foot wrong. I give Noises Off at the Garrick Theatre five stars. I hope you enjoyed this review, and if you want to watch more, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel, One Minute Theatre Reviews, or you can read my reviews on my website, oneminutetheatrereviews.co.uk. Thank you for watching.